What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome back to Back to the Future, the game. When we left off, uh, we found our parents in this creepy alternate reality of Hill Valley. Um, so now, we spoke to Marty's dad, and now it looks like Marty's mum might have a secret stash of alcohol. So the what we're trying to do here, this is an ultimate reality run by Doc Brown, and the only way to get an interview with Doc Brown in this reality is to break as many wars that he's put into place as he can, because Doc runs this town. And it looks like she might have a little bit of a secret stash hidden here. Oh, there we go. Having fun, kid? That? Who said that? Yeah. Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C64. I wasn't okay. trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Okay. Let's rack up a few more of those babies. Rack up as many of those as we fucking can. Hmm. Lorraine. Mom? Alright. Ask about the uh, Mom, are you a drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom. It's just that Dad mentioned your Oh, father. here we go. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine... They seem very happy. Good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> they Dad, seem like they have a Mom, very happy relationship. Knock it off, you two. Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Yeah. Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Ah. What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Oh, come on. We gotta get Ready? it from her. No. Mom? Um. Ask about I'm me. I'm having a bad day, Mom. Can I ask you a few things? We all have our share, son. Uh. What happened to me and Jennifer? I saw Jennifer earlier today. Oh, Jennifer. What a spunky gal. Are you two patching things up? She what happened? Blew me off. Well, I'm not the world's biggest dating expert, seeing as how I married the first guy to fall from the sky. But maybe you should spend a little less time with your microscopes and ant farms, and a little more time tending to Microscopes and ant farms. What kind of things is she passionate about, Martin? What are her interests? I don't even know anymore. You see? Uh, another subject. All righty. All righty. Can I ask Mom, about the Vosk again? Oh, look at you. You're such a sweet boy. I'm so glad you take after me rather than your father. What, Lorraine? What? Ugh, I can't live like this. Dad, you're not helping. Oh, but I disagree, Martin. Oh, boy. It's important that I catch her in the act so I can get it on tape. Once it's on tape, I can show her that she has a problem. That's, That's snow, yeah. Dad. You're acting like this is some kind of sting operation. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? She's drinking again. Uh -huh. I knew it. There. What okay, I gotta destroy box? that box. That sort of it's a spray bottle of simple orange for the cleaning I'm trying to do! Okay, I gotta get rid of... Lorraine, I'm sorry. I gotta get rid of him. Just a, what's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. Alright, I've gotta get rid of him somehow. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get rid of it. Man. 
Lorraine might be hiding something. She might be up to blah 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 blah. George is buying on my way with that camera by the statue. If only you could reach the camera to block it. You can with a little effort. Reach past the statue. Swing the mobile around until ah. Alright, let's swing the statue around again. Hmm. There we go. Ah, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes. Alright, nice. Now she's gonna go drink. Aha! I need to be able to catch her. You are drinking. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Yeah. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors, and... Oh. Yeah, they seem very weird in this reality. Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> Alright, go, go home, dude. Jesus. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. Alright. Now I can grab it. Nice. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Yeah, I gotta, I, I gotta attention. agree with that. All right, can I take this back to Jennifer and then cause a ruckus? Try and repair that relationship a little bit in this reality. Oh God, just God damn it. Locked. She's done with her graffiti. All right. That leads to the soup mo. Leech yeah. Is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Okay. What's the plan? What's the plan? Got booze now. You just need to get caught. Okay. Ah, Officer Parker. Okay, so I gotta get caught in front of Officer Parker, and then we should be pretty hunky dory. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Let's grab the flask. And have a sip. This was too hard to come by to just throw it away. Okay. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Oh god, hi. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Yeah, hundred well, percent. You open it and find out. Don't get smart with me. Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Hey. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? Uh, that nowhere, I don't know. Booze. Nowhere? Is yeah. he being smart with me? A little bit. He played that attitude on me as well. <laughs> just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already. No. Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. Decycling bin. Pleasure, ma'am. The fuck is a decycling bin? Now, keep your nose clean or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Screw you, dude. All right, break some rules. Try to f uh, try making friends with. Wait, what did it say? Try making friends with. All right, if you're looking.
for the last dog in Hill Valley, you need something to lure him out of hiding. There's only one place in town vending any kind of food. Talk to the clerk. Hmm. The clerk. Okay. All citizens bank. Citizen. Emma Brown Industries. Conformists. Ministry of Tourism. Hmm. So I need to get something that's tasty to a dog. for recycling, but this is out of control. A little bit. Okay, what's over this side? Uh, nothing. What's the problem, citizen? Uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're, uh, we're fine. We're all fine now. Thank you. Uh, how are you? <laughs> all right. Hmm. Okay, we need to find... Oh, God. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soupmo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech. Was that Jennifer? Yeah, what the hell, man? It's none of your business. And B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, what's... sample? Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I I can't finish this. Not my problem. Okay. What the hell are those? What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Mm. Mm. You and me both, brown noser. Why are they behind the counter? Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a DOG running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jesus, uh, I relax. They're fresh, mostly. Ew. About the About dog. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little SOB. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? Yeah. You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. Okay, uh, what's on the menu? What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. More? What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. Uh, right. No thanks. What kind of soup? What kind of soup you got? Uh, scrolle... Ribellini? <laughs> That's right. Some things never change. Okay, never mind. You and Jennifer? You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? A well, little yeah, bit. A little bit. A little disgusted. That's probably the soup. Yeah, well. What's with the sneezing? Cold or something? Ugh, it's allergies. I swear there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. A dog? Yeah. And the stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. See ya. Smell you later. Okay. Hmm. Great dog could be anywhere. He might have sent smell, but he might blah 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 blah. Okay, so I need to walk away from the samples and then come back. There's Einstein. Hey, 
Hey, there's that mangy. Go get him, McFly. All right. There he goes. All right. He's got to be hiding in here somewhere. I bet you're under here. No. Nope. Not a sign of him. God damn it. Thank you. All right. McFly? My spray can? Oh. <laughs> Dork. God damn it. You couldn't have hit it well? Oh, for God's sake. Okay. So we gotta go get him again. It's alright. We got him. Can I use the little sample that's in my uh where could he be hiding? Yeah. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Okay. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Decency. Okay, where can I leave it? Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Is he behind it? Stay put now, boy. Wherever you are. Not a sign of him. Okay. Can I leave it somewhere? Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Okay, I get that, but Jesus Christ. You never be able to guess where the dog is hiding, he's too clever. If only the dog left tracks. Hmm. That's a good idea. So if I grab the spray can. And then spray the plank. Better blue. Nice. Nice. All right. Now Doug's gonna run back in, and then we're gonna bloody get him. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. See, the hints are good. I like the hints. They're helpful. All right, buddy. Now we're in business. Okay. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. All right, let's get him. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Oh, don't be like that, Einie. Aw. Can I give him the... Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. Yeah. Atta boy. Now hold still. Good boy. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? <gasps> whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Yep. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Get some more demerits. <laughs> no. Help. Oh, rabies, rabies, help! Back, down, sit, play dead. <laughs> what the? Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once. Einstein, sit. Einstein. Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Oh uh, yeah. What are you gonna do about it? 
Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. Yep. You what? That's right. He's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of All right. 357. Let's get some more violations. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beasts. Don't worry, I'm hey. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. I'll stay out of trouble. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Ow. Don't shove me, you bastard. Break some rules. Just took me back up with Jennifer and making a scene. Alright. How am I going to achieve this? This is the last thing I think I need to do. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees. Get your Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah? Uh you and the you and Leech, Jennifer. Yeah. Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. I play guitar. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm oh yeah. Electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay Wage. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? <laughs> I'll give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. Okay. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. Okay, so Hell yeah. guitar McLoser. Uh I should have known. All talk, no rock. Leech is a wasteoid. Yeah. Oh, Jen, it's you and me. Dream on, McFly. We might have had a thing for about ten minutes, but you're not even in the same league as Leech. How am I gonna get a guitar now? Your paint. Ah. Okay. Uh, I need help. How am I gonna get a guitar? Have you been chatting with Jennifer? Blah 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 blah. Guitar players. She digs that. Look around your house. Okay. You can way we God damn. Alright, let's uh let's have a look inside and see what we can find. Oh no, there was a guitar in the um in the garage. Right? From last episode? Like behind George. Yes. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. Ah, oh, that's never a good thing if they're looking up to me. Very good. Give me the guitar. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... I need it. A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little Helly and she's nothing but trouble? Oh, come yeah. on, dude. My kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further off. Come on, dude. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Nice. Always go for the love card, man. Oh, right. And George, also, you're a creepy fucker with all these cameras. Just saying. I'm just gonna point it out. All right, let's kick some ass. Let's kick some ass on the guitar, man. All right, all right, all right. Let's fucking do it. Yeah? 
Tell Leech there's a new sheriff in town. Yeah. Ooh, nice axe. Your mommy buy that for you. Just get Leech. Fine. Yeah. You can knock on my door anytime. Yeah. Oh. We got company. McFly. What's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You want to go prove it? The ring of All rock. right. Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. Fair enough. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Oh, yeah. Move towards the amp. Move towards Jennifer. This is so cool. Climb on the platform. Oh shit. Come on, break. Climb down the left. Okay, so somehow I need to fuck around with that. Um, scissor kick. Oh, okay. Flush. What? You cut my cord, you asshole. Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill what? Valley. What? Claim your prize, champ. Bullshit. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Well, back to How work. dare you. See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in rock and roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. God damn. Now what? Uh, which play is big and dirty? Maybe too big for his own good. And watch out, he cheats. Maybe he wouldn't be so good with his amp knocked over. Hmm. Might be able to. Ah. Okay. Alright, let's do it again. Let's fucking do it again. Kick his ass. Yeah? I want a rematch. Yeah. You got nerves, McFly. Nothing but let's do it. Get him out of here. Get him! I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. Oh! What'd you say, my mother? Try not to leave any scars, babe. Damn. All right. All right. Let's move towards Jen. All right. Climb onto the platform. Okay. 
Okay, so I gotta I gotta find a way to tamper with his platform. Alright, come on. Um, move towards amp. How am I going to do this? Towards Jennifer. Okay. Flash. He's going to cut the amp again. Flush. Hey, you looking for a fight? We just had one. I beat you. Again. God damn. Mm. How do well, I do this? Fun? I'll see you later. Love is a battle. Okay, there's got to be a way for me to tamper with this. That leads to the soup mo. Leeches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I tamper with it? Hmm. That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. What if I... I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. How do I do this? Okay. If you can get Leech to knock over his own amp, you might also get him to trip himself up on the precarious... on a precarious platform. Trip on his own amp. Okay. Hmm. That's no way to treat such a fine guitar. Truth. All right, so I got to battle him again, and then figure out how to get him to trip over his own amp. Yeah. Leech my. Oh boy. Round three, bitch. Again. Scissor kick. Okay. Climb up on the platform. All right, come on. Hop. Oh. Ouch, Rooney's. Ouchie. Martin McFly. That was that was that was totally awesome. Thank you. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm -hmm. Ow. You broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Shit. Oh. We're, uh... Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! <laughs> 176D! Open mouths? And tongues! Yeah. You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! Yeah. We don't use words like that in this town. 
I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus Oh, program. no. What? The Citizen oh, Plus program. Officer, give Mr. McFly a full 76 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. Ah, oh, come on, dude. This is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. All right. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hey, who's that? Oh. Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Ah. Cause I gotta go. Geez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. Uh, I'm pretty cool. Believe, I'm pretty. But I'm the same guy pretty I've hip with the kids. Been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin. It's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Yeah. Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Uh, hi. How you doing? Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Great. You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is <laughs> cool. Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. Sure, weak, why not? But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry. We're here to take care of you. Like Great. Like Citizen Plus program took care of Biff. Oh, Perhaps the program Snack. is in need of new volunteers. But I am volunteering for ourselves. shit, man. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. Oh, Take yay. You, Citizen Brown, immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. Yeah, thanks, officer. Good to see you too, sir. <clears throat> Bastard. What? Who said that? I like how even do like even in this, dogs are illegal and yet he's still got a thing of Iny. Like up top, so That's interesting to me. Come in, citizen. Oh, shit. Here we go. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge Deportment Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is. What happened to you? Yeah, what I mean, what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. God, this is weird, man. This is creepy. Not okay. Questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. You're not supposed to be yes, like this. What you've turned into. It's all wrong. You're supposed to be a scientist, an inventor. You created the flux capacitor, and, and we went on all these crazy adventures in time, and your hair, you don't look good, Doc. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yeah, yes. sure. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes. No, wait. Tell yeah. me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I'm from. Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Yep. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, 
Listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? You did. Dumb question. Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. But it was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. Yep. You gotta believe me. And this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical... No. Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. Yep. So that was the first movie. Not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up. And everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. No. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. Oh boy. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. I wish it were that simple. I wish I had fabricated it. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah. Oh, I don't God. Understand. No, I don't understand you, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Um, take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your map, your memory. Convince Susan Brown to help you. What have I got in my inventory? The book. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor, your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. Okay. George. See, this is my father back when he was a teenager. With your time machine, I went back to 1955 and helped him stand up to Biff. Interesting. Of course, Mr. Tannen spent most of 1955 in our juvenile rehabilitation. Oh, come on. Learning to control his anger. He did. No wonder my dad's still so lame. Yeah. And the picture of Marty. See this picture? In the other timeline, I've got a girlfriend who loves me. Yep. Interesting. Subject's fantasy life also includes an imaginary okay. girlfriend. Okay, what? what about the newspaper? Oh, great. The timeline's catching up with me. Alright. Hit him with the big guns. The newspaper. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. Okay. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? Never worked. Failed a misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. So you did still uh, build it. An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Okay. Uh, what else have I got? Hill Valley. 1986. They don't need it. Anything else? Uh, nothing else. Hmm. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. Yeah, good luck with that. His father? So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw yeah. you yourself, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? I, uh, bizarre okay. fantasy life. Go on. 
Proceed. Ah, uh, boy. It's going to take a while to convince him. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. Yeah. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931, it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Mm, yeah. Stop trying to confuse me. Oh, it's working. My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You can look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I, I, wrong. Okay. What's he you got? see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. Oh, that's uh, Kid Tannen's arrest. The day I single-handedly captured Kid Tannen. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific hmm. muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. And I'm there in the background. That's not what I see. What do you see? I'm in the background. Uh. I think my game's frozen. Yeah. I'm in this picture. There. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me. And you. The other you. It is me. It is. And you. But how? Sonny? It's impossible. No. It's science. Yeah. Your science. Nice. It that was cool. World. They've really tied everything together. It's really cool. Am I, am I happy there? Yes. I'm very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons. Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna. Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to, anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. Yeah. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley. You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! Yep. There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Yeah, exactly. Just open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got him all terrorized. That's Mrs. Rowdy. Oh, God. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. God, he's a control freak. Jesus Christ. We've worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? You. Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right. Then. Let's prove it. Boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. Okay, how am I going to prove so it, Marty? Is the interview over should I leave please do I'm very busy I've got a city to run fine but I'll be back with proof all right and Edna heard all of that I don't know what that's gonna mean for us that was interesting That was really interesting. Doc wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Oh, Jesus, what happened? Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. What happened? I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah. Yeah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Find George's secret tape. We're going to do that next time. We're going to find all the evidence and bring it back to Brown and see whether we can get everything switched up. 
I'm digging this game still guys. Episode 3, probably the best episode yet. It's so twisted and weird, but I love it. So uh, hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series as much as I am. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. PopyJN.com. If you haven't gone over there already, just to check it out, make sure you do so. And it, while you're over there, check out our video of how to become a premium content subscription service person. Um, you, you sign up and get access to hours and hours of additional content that is not here on the YouTube channel. If that appeals to you, if you want more content, make sure you go and check that out over at PopyJN.com. But thank you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out. Streets call his name. The streets call his name.